Hello there, Ari here. Today I'll be showing you how I do my makeup for one of my very favorite characters, Elizabeth from Bioshock. This look is suited for both of her outfits in Infinite. It's easy to replicate with anything that you have on hand. Alrighty, let's start. Begin with a clean and prep base. Don't forget lip balm. I already put in my blue circle lenses. All products will be listed in the description. Apply your favorite face primer. Today I'm using a pore filling one on my T-zone and then a correcting one on my cheeks. Let that sink in and now time for our base. Elizabeth has flawless skin, but her skin texture and freckles still show through, so I'll be mixing my BB cream with custom cover drops to add a bit more coverage. Blend in with your fingers to meld it in with your skin. I also used a kabuki brush to help smooth everything out. Use a concealer a shade lighter than your skin tone to brighten your under eyes and highlight your cheekbones. I also covered blemishes and some redness on my nose. Then blend out with a tapered face brush. Powder up with a translucent powder to mattify and boost longevity. Let's move on to the eyes. To start, use an eye primer with coverage to blink out the lid since we'll be using nude matte shadows today. With a fluffy crease brush, swipe a matte mauve shade into the crease, concentrating a shadow at the inner portion of the crease up towards the brow for a 20s eye shape. With a flat shader brush, take the same mauve matte shade 3 fourths in on the lower lash line. Don't blend too far down. Pat a matte nude color on the outer and inner corners of the lid, leaving the ball of the eye bare. Apply a shimmery champagne on the spot we left bare to accentuate Liz's big doll eyes. With a tapered blending brush, use a matte gray shadow to define the outer V and lift up our eye shape. With a thin angled brush, apply the same matte gray shadow on the outer half of the lower lash line, connecting to the outer V. Blend everything out with a fluffy brush. Using a matte bone shade, you can always redefine and clean your edges. Don't forget to highlight your brow bone. Next, using a black eyeliner pencil, wiggle between your lashes to fill in any gaps, then thinly line the upper lash line. Smooth everything out with an angled brush, but don't blend it upwards. With the same eyeliner, lightly apply to the outer half of the lower lash line, and again smooth with an angled brush. Our eyes are natural but defined and enlarged. Before lashes, we'll go back to brows. Liz has thin, curved brows, very reminiscent of those trendy in the 1920s. Mine are a bit thicker, but we can create the illusion with a brow pencil and a concealer. After filling in your brow shape slightly thinner than the edge of your brows, take a high coverage concealer and trace your thinned edges, concealing over your brow hairs. Blend with padding motions and set with powder, then go in with a brow gel. We're getting there, I can almost taste the cotton candy in Battleship Bay. And we're back to the lashes. Give your lashes a good curl and then go in with a lash primer to thicken and lengthen your natural lashes. Apply a black dramatic mascara, but don't apply any to the lower lash line. Use a pair of natural looking falsies that flare out at the edges. Apply some lash glue and wait 15 seconds for it to become tacky. Tack down your center, then tuck in the edges.
we're just about ready for a dance with Mr. DeWitt. Time to finish the face. With a contour shade, contour your cheekbones and slim your jawline. I also did the tip of my nose to make it slightly upturned like hers. Blend it all out with a fluffy brush. Apply a natural rosy blush to the backs of your cheekbones for a youthful glow. Onto my favorite part of any look. With a bright highlighter, highlight the high points of your face, including the tops of your cheekbones, inner corners of the eye, cupid's bow, tip of the nose, nose bridge, and the brow bone. The false shepherd is calling for his lamb, but we still have one step left. It's lip time! Liz's lips are circular in shape, full but small and doll-like, very much like 1920s flappers. With a dark pinky nude lip pencil, outline the desired rounded shape. Keep the cupid's bow more rounded, not a defined heart shape. My lips are naturally thin, so I'm overdrawing to mimic her fullness. Fill in with a lighter nude liner for a more 3D effect. Then pat on some sheer gloss for a natural sheen. Before we forget, apply a nude liner to your lower waterline to complete her round doll eyes. Whoops! And as a last precaution for all day wear, use a setting spray to lock it all in. And you're done! Don your costume and you're ready to step out as Columbia's lamb. Make sure Booker's supplies stay in stock and take a ride with your skyhook. And the choice is yours, the bird or the cage. Thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos. Let me know in the comments what's next on your cosplay list. Bye!